Richie here. <laughs> Where do you go from 70 degrees to 8? Where do you do that? Only in Syracuse. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's Fist Pump Friday. Great to see you. Wow, first semester done. We're halfway done. Can you believe it? Wow. All right. Well, Richie loves you, and we're here for Pride. Again, Pride is professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. All right. And these are the people that have won this week. Good luck all. Oh, you got to do the opposite on camera. I always forget. Good luck all sports and clubs and everything. Go ESM. Our first winner is Tyler Bell. Woo! We got the, we do have the pumps. All right. We got Danny Sitnik. Woo! We've got Megan Filmer. Woo! We got Javin Thomas. Yeah! Nice. Hey, we got Brian Stevenson. Woo! We've got Melissa Korvedik. Woo! We've got uh, Kareem L. Woo! Hey, we got Samantha Russell Jeffries. Woo! We got Abby Harrington. Woo! And last but not least, we got Elena Allen. Woo! Congrats, everybody. Do well on your tests. Finish strong this semester. Richie loves you. Good morning. I'm Jack. And I'm embarrassed. No, I'm just kidding. Good job, Richie. He was, he was really excited to have Mr. Ferris. <laughs> and we are going to be, so on Monday, the Academy Awards released the nomination list for the 90th Oscars ceremony. And today we'll be discussing who is nominated and who we think might be winning. So it should be interesting. Police are asking for the public to be on a lookout after a man broke into a pharmacy on Syracuse's west side on Wednesday night. Security footage caught a man picking up a rock and throwing it at the window, giving him access to enter. He was inside for less than a minute until the alarm sounded and he ran. Supervising ph pharmacist Zulia Rodriguez said, It was vicious to see that somebody came in last night around 2 in the morning, dragged pallets. I mean, we have everything on camera. Two people, as of now, have died from coronavirus in China, which could result in being the biggest epidemic since the SARS epidemic in 2003. The illness, which starts as a respiratory infection and builds to organ failure, inflammation of the heart, abnormal, abnormal renal failure, and other symptoms. A total of 41 people have been diagnosed with the virus, making this the second respiratory epidemic in 17 years. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, make sure you check on your senior quote in room D14 before the end of the day today, January 17th. If you don't verify your quote, it will not be printed in the yearbook. See Mr. Shalek for any questions. Physicals are the morning of February 11th in the health office, so students who are play, uh, playing a spring sport should check in with the health office to make sure their physical is up to date. One thing that people always look forward to is who will win the Oscars, and actually Mr. Ferris knows a ton about movies, hence why he is a film history teacher. So what makes a movie good enough to be nominated for an Oscar, specifically Best Picture? Hype. I, I, I like to say that time is the greatest teller if a movie is good, and sometimes hype leads the way, or sometimes they pick a movie that the... Um, Let's say the actor has been nominated a bunch and never has won. Like, mm -hmm. all right, this is the year they're going to win. Uh, it's never ticket sales, which surprises me because, you know, you'd think the, the movie that everybody has seen would be the movie that might get nominated, and that doesn't always work that right, way. Right, because if it was, Disney would be nominated for everything because they always... Usually. Seems to get billion dollar movies. Um, so a couple of years ago, the Oscar faced a ton of backlash for the lack of diversity in the nominations. And how do you think that that affects how people get nominated today? If you look at the nominations, I don't think it had any impact. Yeah. Uh, no women directors. Um, the number of African Americans uh, nominated this year is, is low. So I can I only think of one. Yeah, I don't think it did much to affect. Yeah. Um, why do you think movies get snubbed? Do you think that there's drama about it, or do you think it just didn't meet the criteria? Specifically, when The Dark Knight, back in 2009, was not nominated for an Oscar. Um, but and it, it goes to both sides, but Heath Ledger was. 
and he, and he won. So I, I don't know. It goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. And some s snubs this year included Jennifer Lopez, Frozen 2, and Little Women director Greta Gerwig. That, that is true. So, um, I also thought Spies in Disguise was great. Animated. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> I didn't th I don't know why they nominated Frozen two for best song, but they didn't nominate it for best animated movie. It just seems like deliberate, like they're not trying to do it. Um, they also did not nominate the actor from the movie Rocket Man. Um, I I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I think it's because um, Remy Malek had won last year for Bohemian Rhapsody. It was almost the same movie type. Yeah, I I just don't, and pr that's probably why Rocket Man didn't get nominated for Best Picture simply and because. And it was good. Uh, we're joined by Bella. Uh, Bella, did you have a movie that you liked this year? I gotta say, Rocket Man was my favorite, but just because I'm a huge Elton John fan, I did like Little Women too. Um, but today, it's going to be actually, I suggest just staying in and watching movies because it's freezing outside. I don't know. It's going to have mostly cloudy skies with spots of sun throughout the day. It's only going to get to about 18 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be the same thing around mm, mid-teens, high 20s. And same with Monday getting into Tuesday. Tuesday is going to warm up a little bit, getting into 2025-ish, but it'll remain that way throughout the rest of the week. So, like I said, I suggest if you don't have any exams, stay in and watch movies. Just stay warm. I'm Bella with your weather. All right, so we have both made our Oscar picks, and we are super excited to unveil them right now. I don't want to brag, but I think my estimations are extremely accurate, and I'm very proud of them. For Best Actor, I had Joaquin Phoenix for his, um, for his role in Joker, because he was just amazing. He was so good. Um, what did you have down? I, I would probably say the same thing. I mean, it's, he, was just, he was just so good. Some would say even better than Heath Ledger. So that leads to competitiveness. Mm, but No, no just, they were totally different. But yeah, I think they good. were just different. Um, uh, for Best Actress, I had Renee Zellweger for her role as Judy. Um, she, I mean, she looks just like Judy Garland in that picture. And although I personally have not seen the movie, I can tell you that as somebody, I watched a clip of her doing Judy Garland, and I watched a clip of Judy Garland. They were, it's, it's like watching a mirror. Like, they are literally so similar. Um, so for that reason, I think that she would, that she would win. And Probably you, Charlize Theron. She... If anybody can tell me today that that's not the same person as Megyn Kelly, I can't tell them apart now. So, what movie was this from? That's from Bombshell. Ah, uh, I I haven't seen that one yet. I've, I've seen everything almost. <laughs> Just two movies I haven't seen. Um, for best supporting actor, I'm gonna have to give it to Brad Pitt for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, I haven't seen this movie, but I, my parents said that he was just amazing. And honestly, I can't see anybody else in that category winning, because most of them have already had Oscars. And I don't think he has ever had one, so I think he would be great. How did Tom Hanks get Best Supporting Actor? Yeah, it has he's, Mr. He, Rogers. Like, he did really like good at that. He's like the main character. He's one of the two main characters. I think because he already had Oscars, and they were just, they just had to I'm going with to Tom him. Hanks. Why not? Who doesn't like Mr. Rogers? And that, that's, that's actually true. He might actually win with that. Uh, for Best Supporting Actress, I'm going to give it to Laura Dern for her role in A Marriage Story um, because she was just really good in it. And I, the Marriage Story is one of the movies that I actually did see. And I can tell you that it is incredibly sad and it is a very good movie. And I think she did a very solid job with it. Um, who did you have? Scarlett Johansson. She's nominated twice, Best Supporting and Best Actress, she's going to win it. She's going to take it home. You think or so? Jojo Rabbit. She plays sentimental and a comedy. It's good. She's good. Well, good for her. And then for Best Picture, I put down 1917, because if you didn't know, this movie is done in one shot with the cameraman going, they literally follow the actors. So it's kind of like a play, like they're just kind of walking through it, and the camera follows them. Um, there's only two other movies in the history of movies to do that. So for that reason, I think it's going to win Best Picture because of um, its strides in film. Uh, what do you think? Well, they already did that with Birdman, and it got a lot of acclaim. So 
I saw it. There just wasn't much of a story. It was a simple story. Great cinematography. It's going to win for best cinematography. I'm going out on a limb with Parasite, what's considered also a foreign film. That's where I'm going with. Hmm. Did a foreign film win last year, or, or am I just no. going crazy? Okay. Um, I'm not properly researched for that. I, I, I didn't know about last year. Um, all right, so we are going to head it over to sports and see who is going to be playing this weekend. Girls team lost two to one against Cortland. However, with this win, the boys team became sectional eligible. In upcoming games, the it's boys and girls track teams are going to Utica at 4:30. The boys varsity basketball team plays away against Cortland at 6:45, and the girls varsity basketball team plays home at 6:45 against Cortland. Good luck to all the Spartans. I'm Chris with sports. So we're way over on time. We're just going to keep rat. Uh, ranting about movies. If you want to stay and listen, please do. Otherwise, we're just going to keep talking. No Marvel movie. No Star Wars. Star Wars will get music. It'll win. They'll just like. But they hey, never Star Wars. win anymore. I know. Well, it's the same story. They I made mean, the same story seven it's times. It's forty-two. That I mean, that's true. I mean, but hey, there's forty-two we years. Blow it up before it becomes a Death Star of some kind. But like forty-two years, this thing has been going on. Why didn't they nominate it?